in my personal conversation with my oncologist, my statement was, what if I can teach this? What if I can help people stay on the medication and get a, a greater success rate on the medication? And before I get into this, it, I, I, wanna, I wanna emphasize that whether it was intrinsic motivation, whether it was my path of life, thank goodness that I've been on this path of life since June 3rd of 2019, which will be four years this June, that I've lived a, and I've talked about this countless times, fasting, fitness, flexibility, nutrient-dense, whole food, Mediterranean lifestyle. A lifestyle that I augmented on February 9th because on February 8th is when I got the call about the biopsy of CLL, which is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And unfortunately, I got the high-risk version. But that call that I got the following day, February 9th, I kicked it into gear. I kicked into gear a C to C. So basically, if it doesn't come from the ocean and if it doesn't come from the earth, I'm not interested. And I'm gonna get into certain select processed food that I eat. And the reason why I went into that lifestyle is because I had thousands of hours I went in prepared. I knew this information going in. And again, thank goodness I was on this path of life, a path of life that I started researching back in 2017, 2018, and I kicked into gear in 2019. And hence why, when I said that statement to my oncologist, is because I knew from research that those that combine a fasting, nutrient-dense lifestyle that I live, and especially those that combine it with long-duration fasting, combined with certain medication, like a medication I'm on, Brukinsa, which is a, a BTK inhibitor, that kind of medication combined with the fasting lifestyle that I live and long duration lifestyle that I live, zero pretty much process anything, nutrient dense, Mediterranean, long fast, whole food, etc., have a greater success rate of beating their cancer or a greater success rate of extending their life or a greater success rate of staying on the medication. Medication that have very serious adverse effect. And that's why people quit the medication. And when they quit the medication, the rest crumbles, right? So that was my statement to the oncologist. What if I can help people? What if I can, I can stay on this medication without the adverse effect? What if I can suppress this cancer? And can I? They say it's irreversible. And my question to her is, can I, although it's irreversible, can I get rid of this cancer? And her statement was, you, we could possibly um, go into remission to the point of we can't find it in you no more. To which I said, that's my goal. And to which she said, that's our goal also. So I'm working hand in hand and I'm going to do my very best to teach. I will do my very best to stay on this medication. To me, it's extremely easy what I do. Uh, call it discipline, call it what you want. People tell me that I have a discipline or I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna tempt faith <laughs> and I don't wanna brand myself as a super of anything, right? But I do know to me, it's very easy. I, I, I'm 57 and my body is like, I'm back in my 30s. I, I'm actually at my, my 32 year old weight when I was used to run a marathon and uh, like core wise, strength wise, endurance wise, stamina wise, I, I'm basically back in my 30s because of the lifestyle that I live. My lymph nodes have decreased tremendously based on the lifestyle alone. I've only been on this medication for a week and I wanna stay on it for a very long time so I could, until the point of I could make my cancer disappear into remission where they can't find it no more. And when I say that I eat only select processed foods, for example, processed consumption, bottled water is a processed consumption. There's consumptions like, I love my cheese. And from research, Pecorino cheese or Pecorino Romano, there's different types, there's several types of Pecorino cheese. Some of them out of Italy, some of them, basically the cheese from the, the ooze, uh, uh, certain, um, uh, I guess, mountain goats out of the Alps. Um, and, and this cheese, there's three um, inflammatory markers that get suppressed when eating this cheese. And, and, and markers for cancer, suppresses cancers. And so very interesting products out in the world that are old as time itself. So I follow the old books. I 
I, I follow the old books as it pertains to a fasting, nutrient dense, whole food, Mediterranean type lifestyle, long duration fast, combined with modern medication so that I can stay on it for as long as I can, so I can suppress the cancer, so I can make it disappear in my body, going to remission so that they can't find it no more, and so that I can teach others how to stay on, how to prolong their life, how to get rid of the adverse effects, the toxicities that they can't handle. That's my goal. That's my goal. That's why I'm teaching. That's why I'm doing this video. So big, healthy hugs from me to you. I love each and every one of you. And to those that are suffering, to those that are having a problem, reach out to me. I will educate you. I will teach you how I do it, how I did it, and how I find it easy. To me, it's easy. To a lot of people that ain't, but I got rid of the addiction. That's how I got rid of it first, by understanding the addiction, by being honest with myself, by looking at myself in the eyes, and it all starts with being honest with yourself. Big healthy hugs, Jean-Guy Bourguignon, from me to you.